some of my road trip adventures on this channel, I take a lot of time to plan out. Research the area, find some good nature areas and points of interest to check out. And then, there's nights like tonight. It's the 4th of July weekend. Literally a couple hours ago, I finished up with the Spring Grove Illinois Fireworks and that vlog and decided that I was kind of bored, wanted to do something. The weather is still amazing. And here we are in Lake Geneva, having a little nighttime adventure. Now, I've been in Lake Geneva and vlogged many times, but not too often at night. Except if you want to consider, like, the end of the Venetian Festival. But usually we just kind of head home after that. So we're just randomly deciding to go vlog tonight and check out the area, walk around. Don't have much of a plan, but just gonna see what's going on. So they're actually just finishing up a wedding reception at the Riviera, which means that the Riviera is back open again. Couldn't get inside, everything is locked up. But yeah, there was a lot of foot traffic here when I first arrived. People all dressed up fancy-like for the wedding. Bus just left with folks, and I believe this trolley here is for the wedding as well. Looks like they're getting ready to leave too. But yeah, this is pretty random, <laughs> even for me. But I've kind of been wanting to get back to Wisconsin, mainly because last year this time I did my infamous <laughs> overnight adventure to Wisconsin Dells, which you can see the playlist for that on my channel. And just wanted to get back up here. It was right around the 4th of July weekend, this time last year. <laughs> Went down to St. Louis, did the fireworks down there, and came back up to Chicago, packed a few more clothes, and then basically <laughs> took my Highway 12 adventure up to the Dells. And uh, we're not getting to the Dells tonight. <laughs> Nothing is open. It's officially July 5th now. It's past midnight. But whatever. We're just doing a random walking adventure around Lake Geneva. Everything's kind of gated off down there, so we're not going to really adventure down there. Most everything is closed in downtown Lake Geneva by now. But definitely can find some bars and restaurants that are open. Still a somewhat decent amount of foot traffic for this time of night. And it's a holiday weekend for most, so... Folks enjoying the time off work, and hanging out down here. Kind of like me. Now, one of the things that did interest me from one of my last vlogs was this walking trail, or what looked like a walking trail down this way. And I think we're going to kind of walk it, because why not? See where this goes.
Lake Geneva Library, I believe, over there. Just saw a couple take a romantic walk along the beach through this gate entrance, which I don't think is technically allowed, but hey. Have fun. I won't tell anyone. Now these are some weird flowers. They kind of look like they have spiders in them. But these are some weird looking, I don't know what this is. Actually this kind of reminds me of something back from 2020 that I'm <laughs> trying to forget, but I'll leave it at that. And I'm guessing the artist is Larkin? But this is a really nice park, and believe it or not, as many times as I've been out here to Lake Geneva, I don't think I've ever walked this before. So it is possible this is part of the 26 mile lakeside trail that goes around Geneva Lake. It's an interesting trail, I've never done it. It takes you right to the properties of all the fancy houses out here. It's a long trail, it is difficult to do. Um, in one go around. <laughs> I do definitely want to explore that a little bit more one day, particularly around the daytime. <laughs> but this trail might be part of that. I'm definitely not an expert on the Lake Geneva Trail, that is for sure. But yeah, supposedly you can walk around this entire lake uninterrupted. Now, parts of this trail are definitely not flat and paved like this. <laughs> There's definitely rougher, hillier areas, I believe, as you go through the properties. You definitely need to be properly equipped, good shoes, <laughs> to walk this. Definitely water. <laughs> Someday, I will try this. I have definitely never walked <laughs> 26 miles straight, I can tell you that, during my life, but <laughs> I definitely would like to walk more of that trail <laughs> at some point down the road, so. That, though, I need to do a bit more research on. <laughs> so apparently dogs can swim in this area, but people cannot. That is the first time I've seen a sign like that. Now maybe it is just me, but I think that Lake Geneva looks pretty awesome at night. Lake Geneva merchandise at Christine's store. <laughs> These gift shops always kind of give me a Wisconsin Dells feel. <laughs> One of my favorite Dell's type gift shops here in Lake Geneva, Geneva Gifts. Quite a variety of different things you can buy in here, unfortunately closed. 
can even get some fudge. Well, that will do it from Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. I think we'll leave the late night scene to the much younger crowd. Hope you all enjoy your adult beverages tonight. But stay safe and get home alive. But not quite the end of this vlog yet. I want to do a little something different. So we're going to do a bit more traveling around Geneva Lake. Not sure what to expect, but let's see how this goes. There's definitely some more towns that we can visit here.